What's good, family? David here. Day one of the Rolex 24 weekend is complete. And number one, I'm tired. But number two, I'm having a whole lot of fun. I'm tired mainly because it's 70 degrees out. Um, I've been here three years. By far, this is the hottest um, weekend I've been to so far. Um, the last two have been in 40s, 50s, so this absolutely pales in comparison um, to what we've had the last couple of years. Um, had a really good day today. Got a lot. Um, managed to get three interviews. I'll upload them to YouTube here before too long. Um, my first was with Lee Diffie. He is the lead commentator for NBC Sports. So if you are want to come across the race this weekend on TV, he'll be one of the voices. He'll be the main voice you hear, um, but one of the major voices throughout. Um, another interview I did manage to get was with Canadian Kyle Marcelli. He drives in the G he drives one of the GT cars for um, Wayne Taylor and Dreddy. He we had a nice little com we had a good little conversation about approaching this race. How do you run it? How do you manage the changing conditions? And just overall, just wanted to see how you continue to make um, how you can how you continue to just work on being a better driver in these conditions, especially a better in life himself. And last but not least, um, I had a chance to talk to. Bozi Tadarevich, if you are on X or Instagram, you know his face. He's probably one of the most familiar faces in the IMSA paddock. He's a mechanic for Vasher Sullivan Racing and had a chance, had a couple of minutes. He could kind of tell me his story in his own words about his time with Vasher Sullivan. So you guys will see those uploads within the next, hopefully within the next day or so. You may not see many of them tonight, mainly because I'm not gonna lie, my battery, my phone is just about dead. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uploaded tonight so that you guys will at least have this, and then starting tomorrow, we'll be able to go out and do a little bit more. Um, full disclaimer these are gonna be the absolute raw interviews. Um, no editing, no, no editing, nothing of that sort. Um, I will touch them up. They will be resent out. It's, they will be resent out. I do have a timetable, but I will not disclose that here. But they will be coming out very soon. Um, quick recap. Um, managed to get a look at Bubba Wallace's Toyota Super. He'll be racing tomorrow um, in the four-hour race for the warm-up race for the 24. Um, got to get some photos with him and John Hunter. Check out my X and Instagram for those photos. I got quite a few photo dumps, so watch out for those tonight. Um, they'll be on my stories in the morning, but literally I've been trying to make um, videos throughout the afternoon so they're all going to get kind of compact put in and we'll and basically we'll have basically i'll have some stuff to share with you guys coming up um plenty of content creators around so definitely got some more people to meet tomorrow all right let me not get too far off the beaten path but had a chance to get some photos with um had to get some selfies with boa and john arnima who for nascar fans no, he's heading to the 42 for Legacy Motor Club this year. Um, got to talk to some of the other NBC personalities. Calvin Fish, who actually has won this race in class a couple times before, back in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, talking with Jack Rouse. Had a chance to get a quick question with Jensen Button. Definitely, if you're here and you've had a chance to talk to Jensen... He's very excited about the chance he's getting with Wayne Taylor, with Wayne Taylor and Dreddy. Um, that 40 car, the 10 car as well, is just as potent. Marcus Erickson, who won the Indy 500 a couple years ago, 
had a chance to have a moment with jo Joseph Newgarten, probably one of the most casual run-ins with a driver I will have, but it is true to Joseph form, and I absolutely love that. Um, had a chance to talk to a couple of other crew members throughout. Um, met Miss Shay Adam, who is who. If you listen to IMSA on the radio, she's one of the she's one of the pit reporters for Radio Show Limited, who runs IMSA Radio. So we had a so we have some walk and talk conversations. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get every conversation with everybody. Simply put, these guys are there for a job. It's very fast paced. I'm just a fan. So I have to get the content in when and where I can. But huge, huge, huge set of gratitude. Huge thank you to Lee, Bozy, and Kyle for sparing me a few minutes of their afternoon when they definitely did not have any business doing so because they're here for another reason. We fans are fortunate to be able to be down in the garage, share their experiences. And... For them to offer me a little bit of time and a few words to kind of get into my blog, that speaks volumes to me. So again, huge thank you to those guys for their moments and for their moments and being able to just share a little wisdom on how the weekend's going to go for them. Um, I'll try and sneak in a, one or two more videos. Um, well, making a couple more videos tomorrow. I definitely enjoy being able to come up and talk to people um, in the paddock. A lot of the mechanics very open. Um, just was sitting at the. I was just sitting at the um, at the classic cars. If you're on my, if you have me on my Insta, follow me at B Love B E L O V E D dot N dot Unbowed U N B O W E D. If you do not. Um, and also D.A. Lawrence Jr. on X. I still call it Twitter, so whatever. Um, I will be sharing a few of those. I'll be sharing a few of those photos. I got. A, I will be putting a thread together tonight before I go to bed on my day one at Daytona. Um, shout out to the iRacing crew that's here. I didn't get to talk to, but I did go. I did come across on Casey Kerwin. I did get to speak to. For those of you guys familiar with Race Spot on iRacing, Mr. Arjunia Kipati, who is one of their commentators. And if you're also on iRacing, you know Peter Mackay, who's also on Race Spot. He's actually with the Radio Show, Lim Radio Show Limited crew here at Daytona. So he's on the PA with John Heindorf. Um, hopefully, I can get to run into him. If I have Fran and Shay, maybe I have a little bit more hope. Hopefully, he becomes comes down from the perch that is the press box because then that guy's gonna be good the, the guy is virtually grouped there the entire weekend um trying to see if i left anything else out walk the walk the pilot challenge paddock walk the insta paddock um oh yes the um brad pitt is in daytona yes um he's making a movie based on formula one and part of his movie is actually based in the sports car world where he drives GT cars. And they actually made a second version of the car. And they actually made a second version of a real life car that is going to feature in the movie. The real, life, the real team, the real drivers that are going to be in the race, they actually, have, they actually have the suits that will model what's in the movie. And being able to see that in form was a lot of fun. Um, talked to one of the crew members for Wright Motorsports, which is the team that is actually providing the Porsches for this portion of the film. Um, they say, and he said it was great to have them around, great to talk to, and they've been pretty professional about it and pretty good to work with so far. So, hey. For those of you guys that thought this might be what Driven could have been 20 years ago or what turned out to be Driven, I think let's, I think you might want to get your hopes up. This sounds like it's going to be a pretty solid film. Um, but with that being said, that's going to be it for me for this day one. A whole lot went down. It was a very hot day, and again, I am tired. 
Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm making this about 10.30 on a Thursday night, uploading this to YouTube. And then I'm about to be going to get ahead, calling it a night, getting ready to go bright and early tomorrow. Um, schedule tomorrow, they have a challenge for the pilot challenge, their final practice before they race at 1 o'clock, I believe. Well, no, one forty-five. Um, we have the second race for the little Mazda MX-5s. I'm going to have to get some footage of that for you guys tomorrow. I'm going to try and watch it down in the lower complex, which is known as the, which is known as the King here at Daytona. I'm going to try and give you guys a little bit more tomorrow, like a good little video tour of what the track looks like, how it is, um, give you a guide around it. Do my best because I because from the infield because the grandstands aren't open until Saturday to give you an idea. I'm gonna try and give you my best look at this from the perspective I have and the perspectives I'm getting. So that way you guys are not like, what is David talking about? I know that's gonna be a lot of y'all, but. Back to the schedule, they'll have a practice, the final practice for um, the pilot series, which will be the four-hour race. Um, that's at 9 o'clock. Then at 10 o'clock, they'll have the MX-5 uh, the MX five race, which is going to be a dandy. So I'll make sure I get some footage of that for you guys to share um, over the course of the weekend. And then after that, they will have the final practice for the Rolex 24 at 11 o'clock. It'll be a short 45 minutes. And then at 12.15, they'll, and then at 12.15, the four-hour pilot challenge grid will open up, get about an hour or so of that. And then at 1.45, they'll fly the green flag for that. That race goes four hours. In the meet, in the midst of that, the autograph session and the midway will be open. So be able to go down there, showcase that a little bit, I'll try and get some footage of that to share for you guys. And then after that, that's, and then once the check flag flies around 545 for the pilot four hour race, they go to victory lane while we'll the ceremonies and that'll pretty much be it because it's a very light day for the Rolex series, particularly with the huge Saturday they have in store. So that's a little bit of a brief look into tomorrow. Um, again, tomorrow I will have plenty more. I'll give you my outfit of the day. Shout out to the shout out to Colt Sarosa. Gotta love the scuderia. Gotta love that scuderia scarlet. Um, but no, uh, um, definitely big on the Ferrari today. Had had that. I got the cap over here on the table. Um, I was hoping to have Mercedes gear. I was hoping to have the Mercedes cap, but I'll probably go and buy that and then have that in tomorrow night's nightly recap. Hopefully. But I won't, but I'll be doing like three different short changes Saturday alone anyway. Um, but with that being said, that's it for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for coming along with me. Um, and if you're lost, please, by all means, I understand. But I also, I also will be saying, hey, if you got any questions, please feel free. Put them in the comments. I'm more happy to answer them. And I'll even put more video and I'll even do like more IG stories so that way you guys can see what I'm what I'm seeing here because this is one heck of a stage. Um and it's and for us gearhead for us gearheads, this is kind of like a second Christmas for us. So a whole weekend of a whole weekend of action, a whole weekend of fun, it all just it just feels so amazing. But with that being said, I'm not going to talk your heads off. This video is already gone longer than I expected it would. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. And I will see you all tomorrow for day two of this Rolex weekend. The vlogs continue. See you then. Good night.